Hey, everybody, it's Coach. Mm-hmm. And Mrs. Coach. <laughs> yes, it sure is. You are Coach. <laughs> you are? She's not functioning properly today. And uh, by the way, this is Coach Cast TV. Mm-hmm. And I'm not functioning properly today because I'm a little under the weather. You're rubbing off on me. <laughs> uh, and we're still going to stick it out for one more video mm-hmm. uh, because we need to do some black pink. Oh, yes. And we're going to do a song today uh, called Crazy Over You. Mm-hmm. And we're going to do a double shot. Uh-oh. We're going to do the lyric video. And then we're going to do the live. Mm-hmm. And the live that I picked looked like it was a more official live. Okay. I don't know all these things, but I don't want to get the whole video blocked. And so we're going to do the one that appears to be more official. And one of our regular Facebook uh, folks also suggested it. After they first suggested the one from the show, uh, then when we discussed it a little bit, they said, nah, you're right. You probably should not do that one, just Mm -hmm. in case. Mm -hmm. Uh, Because we'd hate to have our very first ever reaction to this block. Yes. Anyway, uh, Crazy Over You, Black Pink, double feature, coming up next. All right, you all set to get crazy? Yes, and I guess you're getting a double shot of Rosé today. Uh, yes, uh, and and also Jenny and Jisoo mm-hmm. and Lisa and just the whole group. Yes. Uh, but uh, you can never have too much Rosé. No. That's interesting. Sick charmer. I've been on a kiss and tell. Send girls to wishing wells If you're my man, I want you to myself I know I'll have enemies Long as you're in on me But I don't care cause I got what I need Make sure you get left for your lead. That might be the chorus here. I'm going to back up a little. Uh, this is an interesting. It is Middle Eastern type. Yeah, it's like a snake charmer vibe. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I can't do that too much. I get dizzy because I'm not feeling well. <laughs> uh, what do you think? It's a, first of all, it's, it's all a, in English. Yeah, it's all in English. So far, but it amazes me how they can take each girl. Let them do their own vo- vocals, um, vocal part, and it be totally different from the other ones, but it meshes perfectly together. Yeah, there's four very distinct mm-hmm. sounds in this. Yes. And all four are combining to make it mm-hmm. sound really nice. Uh, I like the whole, it, 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 to me, it's got, it's mysterious yes. sounding a like little a, bit. Like a snake charmer. Yeah. I just want to say, Rosé's voice right there, she sang uh, the the line real, real smooth. Mm-hmm. And as I, she was singing that, I was thinking to myself, her voice is real, real smooth mm-hmm. there. She just, 
Man, it's good stuff. Mm-hmm, it is. So, what are you... What are you uh... I am just mesmerized by how well this meshes together. I mean, you can distinctively hear each girl. Yeah. And they each have their own dynamic. But when you put it all together... It's almost like it's in it's in sync with each other. Yeah. I mean, this group is just it amazes me how well they do this, and they do this on a lot of their songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's four yeah. four distinct pieces that make an incredible whole, mm-hmm. essentially. Yes. crazy i like it it is they are just they're just one group that still continues to amaze me so this is uh crazy over you 2023 born pink uh tokyo dome let's hope this one doesn't get the thing blocked because we've not had a, a lyric video blocked yet okay knock on wood Where Jisoo and Rose switched up their parts? No, they. Yes. That was the correct order the first time oh, it around. Was? They okay. switched it the second time. Okay. Around. Well, it's that was that was cute. That was oh, wow. good. Mm. And they've they've got a little bit of. Uh, this is the grown up girls. They've got a little bit of tood in attitudeness. This. Yes. Sometimes it's okay to have some attitude. They've got it. They've got it going on. Mm-hmm. They uh, they are. Yep. Incredible live. Their shows, uh, for those of you who have been to a Blackpink mm-hmm. show, surely uh, you had a good time. Because mm-hmm. I can't imagine going to a Blackpink concert and not having a good time. Well, hopefully we will get to see a Blackpink concert. We will see if we can make it happen at some point, for sure. Crazy over you. Bass in the background.
<sighs> and Rose just slays me. I'm sorry, but she just kills me. This group is just awesome. Yep. And they so complement each other. Yeah. Very well, which we yeah. said that before. Look at that look from Jisoo. Yep. I love Jisoo. Jisoo is still my favorite, and I think she always will be. It's valid. It's valid to have any of the four mm-hmm. as your favorite. And it's also valid to be OT4 and like them all equally. Mm-hmm. Uh, we love all four. Yes. Uh, but we do have our own individual choices. Mm-hmm. And uh, for different reasons. But uh, you, you can't, in my opinion, you can't like Blackpink unless you love them all. Yeah. And they're one of the groups that as soon as you hear them, you can distinguish their voices yeah. because they're so unique. And I think that's, uh, yeah. first of all, the size of the group, there's mm-hmm. only four. And the fact that they are so distinctly different yes. is why we were able to pick up on them so quickly. Mm-hmm. Plus, at the time that we first started watching them, yes. we weren't listening to 85 gazillion other K-pop groups mm-hmm. like we are now. And it's harder for us now to learn all the names of the other groups because I they're I don't know I can't because they're I they're bigger. Yeah, they're bigger. And it's just we've listened to so many. And I think with Blackpink, because we watched the documentary, yeah. we got to get invested right. in them as a group. Right. And I highly recommend that if you start listening to them, go back and watch the documentary. Yeah, and I will just say also that uh, I think it's good that we have seen the other groups Mm -hmm. because it lets us know that Blackpink is not an anomaly in that they are the only good group. Mm -hmm. Uh, And it makes you appreciate them more uh, because of the fact that they rose to the top Mm-hmm. You can appreciate the fact of how good you have to be to raise to the top like they have mm-hmm. when you have the competition that they have. Because if they had no competition, you wouldn't necessarily feel like they had to overcome anything. Yeah. Well, and also, too, with these, with these groups and everything, listening to Blackpink allowed us to, you know, have the viewers... Tell us, hey, there's more groups out here, right. just not this one. Right. And surprisingly, we've come across some that we were like, whoa. And they're not like later generations. They're the earlier generations, which paved the way for Blackpink and right. some of these groups to do what they did. Yeah, like Girls Generation yeah. and some And Mama Moo. So, and yeah. yes. All right, let's finish okay. this up. I didn't realize we were... Well, we're not at the end. Well, we are at the end. Well, shoot. All right. Well, that was fantastic. Yep. As you would expect from Blackpink. We expect nothing less at this point than exceptional performances. Well, Blackpink is just one group that... that, I mean, and like all K-pop groups, they work really, really hard. To get to where they're at. And I think that's why if you get a chance to go back and watch the documentary. Because it will give you a different perspective. And let you appreciate their hard work. Their talent. What they had to do to get to this place in life. And they're still doing it being happy and enjoying what they're doing. And they do that so people like us can enjoy their music and their talent. Well, there is no doubt that, I mean, we've read in the comments that that there's people from very young 
uh, minors in mm-hmm. age all the way up to in the 80s who have said that they're uh, Blackpink fans. Yeah. And I think that their music spans across nationalities mm-hmm. and ethnic backgrounds and economic backgrounds and, and age. Mm-hmm. And, and it's just something that uh, anybody can enjoy. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's it's truly phenomenal. And this yeah. was a great song. I mm-hmm. liked it. And, and the live was different. Uh, didn't have quite as much to me of that snake charmer sound of the original. Well, honestly speaking, I like the live version better. Oh, yeah, because there was two. D- but I got to listen to the lyrics so you could focus on what they're saying and highlight those voices. And then when the live version hit... You can see the dancing, the interaction between the girls. Right. I mean, just all of it come together. Yes. Uh, well, thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, we'll definitely be continuing down the Black Pink journey. We are getting close to the end of this album mm-hmm. and uh, getting close to their really new stuff. So mm-hmm. keep hanging out with us uh, as we go. For now, throw a thumbs up on the video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And ring that bell. We'll see you next time on Coach Cast TV.